guys, Steph there. Right, now some of you remember from my sort of recent pen haul, I gave you a little tease. I showed you this pen here very briefly and then it went off camera. Well, the pen in question is this one here. And what pen is it? Well, if you've read the description, you will already know. Let's go straight to the cap, because that's where the difference is. Yes, it's a swan pen. A swan pen, I hear you ask. Yes, it is. Because, if you look at the clip there, it's got rather unusual clip. It's got this... Well, yes, it's what we term as a... Well, I'd call it an Art Deco stepped clip. Okay, there it is for you. And, in my opinion, it may be sort of Swan's answer uh, to what Schaefer did of the particular period. Um, it may be a military clip, because you can see it's quite short. Now, it's rather unusual, because most of you that see the Swan pens will know that the clips are generally ball clips. And also, a lot of the Swen... Sorry, Swen... Swan pens have rounded tops, okay? Some of them have a like a torpedo shape as well. But if you look at this one, it's got a flat top to the top of the cap. And if we show you the top of it there, you can see it's got this lovely Swan logo to the button to the very top there. So all in all, a rather unusual Swan, maybe Todd, fountain pen you can see it's got sort of two two cap bands there quite thin cap bands but all in all the difference or the unusual thing about this pen is the cap as we can see there so what have we got we've got a swan self filler fountain pen this model is the sm 112b dash 60 okay you can see it's a lever fill pen there okay just quite a standard long lever if we show you the barrel imprint it's got a lovely clear barrel imprint there and it's reading um, Swan cell filler maybe Todd and Company Limited made made in England so a lovely clear imprint and then to the bottom, to the bottom of the barrel, if we can see it there. Okay, I'm hoping you can see it there. It's got the model number which we mentioned, which is SM112B60. Okay, now what the model number means, I'm not too sure. Well, I am a little bit, no, I'm not too sure. The 60 quite simply indicates that this one is the black pen because this particular model I believe they brought out in four different colours I believe it, they brought them out in this standard classic black colour and also they brought out as opposed to having 60 to the end um, they would have had an 83, 84 and an 85 and they would have been the blue, green and a red snakeskin pattern very desirable but either way these pens are quite uncommon they're not as common as the standard swan maybe todd pens as i said in my opinion i think in this particular case you can see with the the clip there and again i believe it may be as i said a military style clip now the, the size of this particular pen, capped, um, is 117 millimetres capped. Around the barrel, it's a nice 10.5 millimetres in diameter. So it's not a large pen and it's not a small. It's, it's sort of a middle-sized pen in my opinion. But let's unscrew the cap for you. Let's show you the pen. Sort of numerous different angles as we do. You can see the pen has been, well it was actually in a little bit of a sorry state 
we've uh, we've restored it we've put a new sack in the pen and it's in full working order and it'll be looking for a new home so let's take it up to the section you can see it's got this quite a small section somewhere if I actually just turn it round um, is it there we've also got swan on the section okay I'm hoping sometimes it's a little bit more clearer for you people um, on the camera let's show you the nib there we've got this lovely swan number one maybe Todd and Company made in England nib and if you look at the sort of the tip there it's got quite a quite a broad nib it's rather a broad nib or a stub nib which we'll try in a moment we'll do a writing sample there's a sideways view underneath we've got the sort of very recognizable swan swan feed there with the word swan on the feed as well you can see everything is lovely and clean as it should be and again ready to go for somebody to enjoy for many years as we said it's not a large pen but even with my large hands it's still quite a comfortable pen to hold now because it's got quite an interested nib on it um, in fact what I'll do if you just bear with me we'll reach over and get a little bit of tissue okay so what we'll do let's just uh, put some ink in the pen Okay, that'll do. It doesn't need a lot. It's only for only for a writing sample. Let's pop the ink to one side and let's see how this nib writes because it looks quite interesting. So, what we have is a swan, maybe, maybe Todd and company limited um, as we said the model being the SM 112B-60 and we're dating the pen from hmm, I'm not too sure 1930s 1940s but it's writing very nicely indeed uh, and as you can see yeah, I think it definitely has a stub nib. You can see on the downward stroke we're getting a broad line. On the cross stroke, there we go. So there's a writing sample. As I said, in my opinion, writing with a stub nib, quite a broad downward stroke, cross stroke quite a fine quite a fine line but writing very nicely indeed I'm more than impressed with the writing a lovely smooth nib so there we have it we've got a very unusual not so common in my opinion this is the first time I've actually seen one of these so I believe they're not very common but a swan cell filler fountain pen the model being the SM112B-60. So what we'll do, we'll find a new home for it. Somebody will enjoy it for many, many years to come. So, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as always. As much as I enjoy showing them to you people, don't forget, leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget people, press that thumbs up. Um, and give the video a thumbs up but for now I'll just say Slavo Kriyini and from me and this gorgeous pen I'll just say bye bye for now